All right, everyone, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to Forza Horizon 5. And welcome to the Subaru Brat. Now, this is a pretty interesting car. Uh, obviously, this is a festival playlist car that you just get if you get 80 points in the series progress. I got it yesterday when I was messing around on stream. And I was messing around with this, the Honda Trophy truck. I really wanted to try that. And it actually turned out to be quite an interesting and pretty decent car for cross country. So I ended up using that. On the stream yesterday, if you missed it, you missed it. I mean, you're never going to see it. Um, but basically, I ended up using it. Quite a fun car. I even got a personal best with it on... Um, is it C-Class? I think it's C-Class or B-Class. I can't remember which which class of, of tune it was. But it was actually very, very fun to drive. It was, uh, it was pretty interesting. But I wanted to take a look at the Super Brat in this video. And see what this thing is like. Now, as you can see, it's probably... Probably obvious now that it isn't completely stuck. I did build this thing up to D-Class because I was messing around with it on my own. And I was like, you know what, let's just make a video on it. It's kind of alright in D-Class, but it just feels really underpowered. So what if I build this thing into A-Class? It's a little car, it can have a lot of power. But what if I bring this thing all the way up into A-Class? Right now in D-Class, it's kind of okay. It's not too bad. Uh, basically race spec everything except for the tires obviously see I even messed around with off-road as well But what if like I said I bring this thing up into a class instead? Uh, I even made it all a uh, rear-wheel drive So I'm gonna bring it back into all-wheel drive again and uh, And try and build it like that now engine swaps few of them are available for this thing uh, I'm kind of tempted to just fully engine swap a whole a whole Subaru STI engine in it. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Try and slap one of those in it. Um, again, slick tires with this thing and giving it about 300 and something horsepower or whatever it is, 400 horsepower. That could be kind of fun. But again, it's a car that doesn't weigh anything. So uh, I feel like that could also be really, really good. The one and main and most important thing was gears with this thing. The gears were always so bad. Um, but I'm pretty sure now this thing will have... A nice six speed going for it. Uh, cover prop shaft. I'm just gonna buy the race diff there. I don't really need to do anything else, I don't think. Brakes? Actually, brakes I do need to do. Because I remember for a fact that I didn't end up changing too much uh, on the brakes at all. So I had to do that. Alright, and then here I'm just trying to find a compromise. There we go, finally. Alright, let's try it like this. I mean, it's got a fat engine in it now. It's A class, it only weighs 800 kilos. And it makes 330 horsepower. I feel like this should be very, very, very quick. I mean, the fastest A-Class cars that we have are around the 4 minute, like, 30 mark. Which is very, very quick if you think about it. But, uh, yeah. I need to try and find a, a good middle ground for this thing in a good tune. To be able to see if it's any good for A-Class. Now with the tune and check. Oh, I like it. Oh, I really like it. Okay. <laughs> it shoots at the corners pretty quickly. Okay. This could be good. The only thing I don't like about it is that its tire width is pretty bad. It's not great. It's not like 195s, I think. It's it's not it's not the best thing in the world. Uh, which I think may hinder it. I'll try it anyway. I'll try it anyway. I don't remember what the Lotus Exige's, like, stats were like. But I'm pretty sure that car was... Pretty legit. Okay. 437 to beat. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get close with this thing. It feels good, but... I don't know. Will it feel good on the, the Golden Toge? That's kind of what... What it needs to be good at not driving it randomly on the road like I said even in D-class it like, it like felt good but it wasn't like very competitive oh my god oh my god little oversteer happy little tail happy Jesus I may need to mess with my turn a little bit here because I'm sliding the back end out so quickly.
Yeah, that backhand is so tail happy. Like it's just it just wants to come out every time. Okay, I'm I need to re adjust my turn. So it doesn't do that. That's really, really like <laughs> it just wants to slide every time. Let's try that again. Should be a tiny bit more stable. I still wanted to like rotate though. And have the back of my Oh my god, I've never had a <laughs> I've never had a car do that. I've never had a car jump that thing so hard. <laughs> that was just so so weird. I almost fell off again. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, now I... Okay, fantastic. Now I got it to understeer like crazy. I went from one extreme to the other. But that's fine. I think, I think that's fine. You know, it's funny, because when I was driving this thing in D-Class, it felt so, like, tame. And, like, very easy to handle and control. And now with the extra power... It feels like I've built a completely different car. Okay, I definitely doesn't oversteer like that anymore. That's good. Definitely shouldn't have gone into fifth there. Brakes are fantastic. Oh, I'm going too wide, man. What is wrong with me? This is the most awkward and unstable thing I've ever built. What is... What am I doing with it? <laughs> it's the messiest run I've ever done. I'm hitting everything, I'm touching off everything. Jesus. I felt like I needed to slow down there. I was honestly scared that I was going to fly straight off this mountain. Jesus. <laughs> it's like a, a tiny mix of overseer and understeer all the time. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, this is just so sketchy. You can see the constant corrections I'm doing with my wheel here. Like I said, it constantly wants to kill you. Like, it's either oversteer or understeer. Oh my god, man. Ugh. Nope. Bad car. Don't do that. What's it like through the gap? Let's go! Three minutes, twelve seconds through the gap? Jesus. <laughs> oh my god! Lots and lots of crashing and scratching and everything off all the walls. Uh. 
there's no way it just stops. It stops me dead in my tracks. <laughs> oh my god, that was the worst run ever. I still want to keep going. I want to see what sort of time I get with it. Well, there goes PB territory. Jesus Christ, bro. This is fast. <laughs> oh my god. This is amongst... Most of the other cars, actually, this is this is faster than most of the other A class cars. I did four forty six with it after I smashed it to everything, and it was the worst driving I've ever done. It's not even like this; it's the worst driving. But this thing is so unstable. It's the little tires, I'm telling you. It's the really thin tires. Okay, <laughs> let me go again and try to concentrate. I tried to put a lap or like a time down. So the fastest car that I have right now is a 437.877, and that is a Lotus Exige. If you want to see all the times, by the way, they're on the Discord. Link to that is down below. Uh, <laughs> like I said, super, super sketchy car to drive. I'm going to go again. I love it. Right. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I actually did end up crashing a few times. Uh, it's mostly here at the start. After that first run. Uh, it's because I kept going too fast, and this jump there kept sending me straight into the wall. So I've learned my lesson, and I'm slowing down a little bit more. But my god, I do love driving this car. Holy shit, I love driving this so much. I love driving it because of the fact that it's so sketchy. It's like, is it going to oversteer? Is it going to understeer? Are you going to end up off the cliff or not? You know, it's just, you never know with this guy. <laughs> whereas I think the Lotus Exige, the guy built that and it's like a precise race car, whereas this thing is like a hillbilly mobile. And it's like, here's some power, here's some slightly good tires, go for it. I absolutely love it, man. It's honestly such a good car. Oh, <laughs> get so close to the wall. Oh, that was kind of not a great corner. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it so much. Please try this out yourselves and try to drive it. Please do. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that it's sketchy. Fourth. That's okay. That'll do. Come on, you absolute beast. Who was it that made the comparison that it's uh, like some of the cars? Like, uh, like the, I think it was Top Gear. But they compared a precision scalpel to a, a butter knife. Basically, that's the comparison between that Lotus Exige and this thing. A precision scalpel versus this butcher knife. <laughs> it's just, just a big, it's like a big hatchet. It's like, here's power and a bit of grip, go for it. And I absolutely adore it, man. This is so fun. 2 minutes 48 and I'm here already? Jesus. I usually know whereabout I am on the track. Or where I should be on the track. To get good times. And this is, this is definitely quick. 
very, very quick. Very, very, very quick. I need to just try not to crash now. I feel like I'm gonna... I've spoken too soon, but... I think I'm good enough that I won't crash with this thing. Oh my god. It's so sketchy. This wall now. We're good. Down at the third for this corner. Exit it in fourth. Nice. Keep the speed up, keep the speed up, keep the speed up. Come on. I feel like I'm doing pretty decent. The tiniest movement, by the way, in the steering absolutely messes up with this thing so easily. Like, it puts you in a situation where you have to correct every single little movement. And it's hard. It's a hard car to drive. My god, is it fun. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's not a PB! 439, though. Here, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. It's like one and a half seconds fa or slower than the Lotus Exige. Oh my god, what a fun car to drive, man. It's so slidey. It's so all over the place. If I was able to put slightly wider tires on this thing, and have it still make the same amount of power, I think I could possibly... I mean, I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. Because as soon as I widen the tires, the, the PI just jumps by a lot. Because I was thinking, like, what if I, you know, bring the, uh, the tires a little wider, but I give it some slightly bigger wheels, you know? But no, I don't think that'll counter it. Because as soon as I widen the tires, the, the grip is just going to, like, fly up. I think with a bit of better driving, I could probably reach the, the Exige this time. But this is just... It's such a sketchy car. Look at it, it's like sideways going through corners, man. <laughs> it's so good. So, so good. I adore this thing. I'm so happy to add it into the game. Initially, I tried this thing off-road, and it just wasn't that great. I thought, you know, lightweight, maybe I could just give it a little bit of power and, and uh, have it go off-road. It's not terrible, but it's not, like, anything to, like, you know, compete with. But now, this thing here on this. It's just the way it's built, I absolutely love. I think it just makes it so much more interesting and, and fun to drive. So I keep in that corner, I, I probably could have driven so much better around it. Now that I'm watching it from like, from like the third person perspective, I can see like some of the mistakes that I'm making. But again, I'm not going to do like 20 laps because I feel like that's just going to be unfair on the other cars on the, on the list. I also, I don't think I'm going to post this time on the Golden Toge because, or the Golden Toge, whatever, leaderboard due to the fact that it's not a subscriber's tune, which is what that leaderboard really is. It's like, subscribers, you guys sending me tunes for me to try, you know? But, I love the Brat. Very, very cool car. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say anymore about this thing, man. I adore it. I adore how small it is. I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounds. It's like such a sleeper build. It's so sick. But yeah, I think I put the shake out somewhere up on the screen. Uh, I'll put it down in the description box below. If I don't, if I forget to put it down in the description box below, it should have been somewhere up on the screen in a video for you guys to, to download and try out. But yeah, whole whole lot of fun with it. I really really love it. I wanna I wanna probably try it for a different class as well, but not in this video. Maybe maybe in my own time. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the Brat. Again, like I said, the Honda that I've driven in yesterday's stream was actually kind of fun as well. So. At least the cars that we're getting in the game are actually kind of interesting to drive. They're, they're entertaining to drive, you know? You can build some, some interesting things out of them. Instead of just having really, really boring cars. But like this one in A-Class Racing, it actually is quite quite a lot of fun to drive. It's, like I said, it's super sketchy and I feel like you need a bit of practice to drive it. And even I needed a bit of practice to drive. Like this isn't like my only like two runs that you guys have seen. I mean, I've, I went, I didn't really drive all the way to the end. 
but I did end up driving like a little bit into the track, let's say like about a quarter of the track, and I ended up crashing. You know, just, just I ended up crashing. Um, I actually kept it very, very tame this time around as well because there's a there's a couple of runs where I just went flat out for a lot of the corners, and I was just going sideways in them. And I mean, like that's you know that's not really a way to save time. And I think about it though, like like sick, sick, slick tires, slick racing tires on this thing. And it still goes sideways. Like, it just is because the, the tires are way too thin. I can't remember what they were. They're like 195s, I think, right? So I think I made them like one step wider. And if I didn't, and they're stock, they're like 175s. So, it's it's mad. If I was, like I said, able to maybe get a little bit of extra grip from the tires by making them wider, I probably would. But again, like I said, I think it jumps the class a bit too much. And even if I get rid of everything else, or something else, like maybe power or whatever, which I don't think I've done anything much more to the power of this car, except for the engine swap, you know? So, I don't know. It's a it's a fun build. It's really, really good to drive. It keeps you on your toes the entire time that you're driving it as well, so it makes it a lot more fun. But yeah, I'm going to show the video now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course subscribe, like, comment, share, do whatever it is you guys want to do. And I'm definitely down to do more ridiculous and weird builds but uh, yeah Subaru Brat is really really fun alright thank you for watching everybody and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye